Hello class, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to find the equations of the line. So as you notice, we have three formulas. The first formula is the slope-intercept form. The second formula is the point-slope form. And our last formula is the two-point form. So we start muna tayo kay slope-intercept form. Si slope-intercept form ay may formula na y equals mx plus b where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. So meaning, magagamit lang natin itong formula ng ito kapag ka ang given dun sa ating line is yung slope and yung kanyang y-intercept. So next is the point slope form. So, meron tayong formula dyan na y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1 where m is our slope of the line and yung ating x sub 1 kama y sub 1 are the coordinates of a given point on the line. So, meaning, magagamit nyo lang yung ating point slope form kapag ka ang given sa ating line is isang point at saka isang slope. Okay, so nagets ba yung difference ng ating point slope form and slope intercept form? So next is the two point form. So si two point form ay may formula na y minus y sub one equals y sub two minus y sub one all over x sub two minus x sub one times x minus x sub one where where x sub 1 comma y sub 1 and x sub 2 comma y sub 2 are the coordinates of nung ating two points dun sa line. Okay? So, saan ba nang galing si two-point form? Si two-point form, guys, is kung mapansin nyo, is almost the same lang nung ating point slope form. Yun nga lang dito kay two-point form, hindi given yung slope. Kaya instead na slope yung nilagay dun sa ating formula, Ang, ang nilagay nila dito is yung ating slope formula. Okay? So, nakita ba yung difference ng tatlong formula? So, let's have example number 1. So, write the equation of a line with slope negative 2 and y-intercept 3. So, kung mapansin nyo dito guys, ang given sa ating example is merong slope and y-intercept. So, meaning, ang gagamitin nating formula dito is yung ating slope-intercept form na may formula na y equals mx plus b. Okay? So, kung saan yung ating slope na m is equal kay negative 2 and yung ating b na y-intercept is equals to 3. Okay, so next step natin dyan is isa-substitute natin yung value ni, is, ni slope ni m at saka ni y-intercept doon sa ating formula. So we have y equals m which is negative 2 then x plus b so ang b natin dito is yung at 3. Okay, so therefore ito na yung ating equations of the line. Okay? Then, kung mapansin nyo, yung equation of the line natin is in the form of y ng ating slope-intercept form. So, maraming klase guys kung para natin ilalagay ang ating final answer. Pwedeng naka-slope-intercept form, then pwede rin namang nakasulat as standard form. Okay? Kung tandaan nyo pa yung mga lesson nyo dati, Pag sinabing standard form ng ating linear equation, that is in the form of ax plus by equals c. Kung saan lahat ng variable is nasa left side ng equation, then yung nasa kanan is yung constant. So, just in case na irerewrite nyo yung ating slope-intercept form to standard form, ang gagawin nyo lang is ililipat nyo yung negative 2x sa left side ng ating equation. Kung negative siya dun sa right side, pag nilipat niyan, we have positive 2x, then plus y equals 
3. So, pwede rin ito yung ating final answer in standard form. Okay? So, next, let's have example number 2. Write the equation of the line with slope 2 that passes through the point negative 1, comma 5. So, in this example, may dalawa tayong given. The first given is yung ating slope, which is 2. Then, yung second given natin is yung ating point dun sa line, which is negative, comma, 5. So, therefore, ang formula na gagamitin natin is, is yung ating point slope form na y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x minus x sub 1. Okay? So, ang slope natin dito is yung, or yung m natin is yung 2. Then, yung ating x sub 1 and y sub 1 is yung point. So, dito ang ating x sub 1 is yung negative 1. Then, yung 5 is yung ating y sub 1. Okay? So, try natin ngayon i-substitute yung ating mga given dun sa ating formula. So, y minus y sub 1. So, ang y sub 1 natin is 5 equals m which is 2 times x minus x sub 1 we have negative 1 okay so simplify natin yung ating equation we have y minus 5 equals 2 then yung binomial natin sa loob we have 2 negative so yung 1 natin magiging plus 1 okay so, pwede na natin itong gawing as final answer. Then, itong equation of the line natin, ang tawag dito is nasa form siya na point slope form. Okay? So, what if naman gusto na natin siyang isulat as slope intercept form? Okay? Just in case na gusto niya siyang gawing slope intercept form na ganito yung itsura, y equals mx plus b. So, kailangan ang may lang sa ating left side is yung y. So, ang gagawin niyo dyan, si negative 5, ililipat natin dun sa kabila. So, ang mangyayari, we have y equals 2 times x plus 1. Then, yung negative 5 sa left side, pag nilipat mo yan, magiging plus 5. Okay? Then, simplify natin yung equation. Distribute mo yung 2. So, that is y equals 2x plus 2 plus 5. Then, combine like terms, we have y equals 2x plus 7. So, ito yung ating equation of the line in the form of slope-intercept form. Okay? So, dito guys, uh, kilangan basahin nyo yung instruction kung saan equation nyo ilalagay or, or kung saan form nyo ilalagay yung inyong equation. Pero minsan, pwede na ito yung ating final answer kung ang pinapahanap lang naman is yung equation of the line in the form of point slope. Then, minsan naman, kung pinasulat sa inyo ng slope-intercept form, ito yung ating final answer. So, next, let's have example number 3. Find the equation of the line passing through the points negative 2, 4 and negative 6, 1. So, dito guys, um, kung makapansin nyo, may dalawa tayong points na given. Una, yung negative 2, 4, then, yung pangalawa, negative 6, 1. Kung 2 points ang given, meaning, ang gagamitin nating formula is yung 2-point form. Okay? So, ang ating 2-point form is y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. So, medyo mahaba yung ating formula dito, no? So, identify na natin kung sino ba yung x sub 1, y sub 1, and ating x sub 2, y sub 2. So, normally, yung naunang point, yan yung ating x sub 1, 
And ito yung ating y sub 1. Then yung sa pangalawang point, x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay, so dapat maging consistent kayo dito ha. Baka mamaya ang ilagay nyo x sub 1, then y sub 2. So mali yun. Ang partner ni x sub 1 is laging y sub 1, then si x sub 2, ang partner niya si y sub 2. Okay? Then we can now use the formula. So substitute natin yung mga values ni x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, doon sa ating 2.4. So apply natin. We have y minus y sub 1, which is 4, equals y sub 2, that is 1, minus y sub 1, meron tayong 4, over x sub 2, which is negative 6, minus x sub 1, that is negative 2, times x minus x sub 1, which is negative 2. Okay? So, next step, simplify natin yung ating equation. We have y minus 4 equals 1 minus 4. This is negative 3 over negative 6 minus negative 2. So, yung, yung minus, two, minus negative 2 natin is magiging plus 2 since dalawa yung negative. So, negative 6 plus 2, that is negative 4 times x, then... Again, we have two negatives, so we have plus two. Okay? So, next is, simplify pa natin. That is y minus 4 equals negative 3 divided by negative 4. That is 3 over 4 times x plus 2. So, pwedeng ito na yung ating final answer. So, itong form na to is yung ating point slope form. No? So, ito yung ating equation of the line. So, again, just in case na ipagawa sa inyo tong slope intercept form, ang slope intercept form natin is y equals mx plus b. So, try natin i-rewrite yung ating equation para alam nyo rin kung paano gagawin. Okay? So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito, I-distribute lang natin yung ating 3 fourth dun sa binomial. So, we have y minus 4 equals 3 fourth x. Then, 3 fourth times 2, that is... So, 3 fourth times 2, that is 6 over 4. Okay? So, ito ay 3 fourth x plus 6 over 4. So, next is... Ililipat natin si negative 4 dito sa ating right side. Kasi kailangan, ang maiwan lang sa left is yung ating y. Okay? So, that is y equals 3 fourth x plus yung 6 over 4, that is 3 over 2. Then, yung negative 4 pag nilipat, that is positive 4. Then, combine natin yung 3 over 2 plus 4. So, we have 3 fourth x, then 3 over 2 plus 4, that is, so kung ito, i-rewrite -re natin to fraction, that is equivalent to 8 over 2. Okay? So, kung same na sila ng denominator, pwede na natin i-plus yung ating constant. So, that is 3 fourth x, then 3 over 2 plus 8 over 2, that is... 11 over 2. So, ito yung ating equation of the line in the form of um, slope-intercept form. Okay? So, hindi naman laging gagawin nyo na slope-intercept form yung ating final answer. Kung wala naman sinabi si teacher na gawin ito, pwedeng ito na yung ating final answer, yung una nating equation sa taas. Okay, guys? So, this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye!